today, a Texas House committee released its preliminary report on the mass shooting at Robb Elementary School. 19 children and two teachers were killed on May 24th. Victims' families today were able to pick up the report first before it was made public. They were also officially given access to hallway surveillance video of the law enforcement response. The nearly 80-page report points to, quote, systemic failures in the response, and it criticizes not only local law enforcement, but state and federal officials as well. If there's only one thing that I can tell you is there were multiple systemic failures. I would invite everybody to read the entire report. You cannot cherry pick one sentence and use it to say everything without reading it all together and with context. Now, footage from body cams were also released today, and you can see some of it here. The report says nearly 400, 400 officers ended up at the school to respond to the shooting. He's in the class. Dude, Mike, Mike got shots fired. We're going to be in the, uh, the building, the west side. Dude, we got to get in there. But as we already know, it took over an hour from the time the gunman entered to when authorities killed him. The report also details several warning signs about the shooter. Let's go live to Uvalde now where we find national correspondent Addy Guajardo. And Addy, I read through that report and it, it really is all very distressing to read and it points to so many light levels of failure. Tell us more. Lindsay, it truly does. And once this press conference wrapped up, anger flared out here. People were angry. At one parent I spoke with, a parent of one of the victims, tells me she was not satisfied with the investigation. She did not get all her answers questions. And she says that the photos that she has do not match the video that has been released to the public, saying that she wants more video to be released. At one point, residents that were in attendance of this press conference even called the committee members cowards. Now, this is what we've learned for the report so far. The gunman fired off approximately 142 rounds, and it's almost certain at least 100 shots were fired off before officers stepped foot inside that building, which was about three minutes after the gunman walked in. The report also noted that hundreds of other officers that rushed to the school were better equipped and trained and should have asked more questions to those local police departments. The school district police chief, Pete Arredondo, told the committee he treated the situation like a barricaded subject and and defended never treating it like an active shooter scene because he did not have visual contact with that shooter. Texas Representative Dustin Burroughs says everyone who came on the scene said it was chaotic, adding that it should have been a tactical response inside the school with an overall commander. Listen to what he had to say about what those officers should have done. And the training and standards we set for officers is if you know there's active shooting, active killing going on, or somebody is dying, the standard is you have to continue to do something to stop that killing or stop that dying. And the report also find that Arredondo tried to look for a key to get inside the classroom, but no one bothered to check if that door was actually lost, saying that there was lost time in that action as well. They also noted that school personnel failed to follow school policies that included locking doors both inside and outside, including the door that the gunman used to walk into Robb Elementary School. The report highlighted how this attack attacker fell through the cracks as well, uh, suggesting that some social media users may have reported his threatening posts, and it appears social media platforms did not report his behavior or take any action. Officials also found that the attacker asked family members several times to buy him guns, but they refused. Now, I spoke to the gunman's grandfather just days after this shooting, and the grandfather told Newsy that he did not know his grandson had any weapons inside his home. This report is saying that the grandparents actually knew that he had weapons inside the house and demanded that he get them out of the house. Now, we also the father of a victim who says the video he watched was simply disturbing. Listen to what he had to say. What were your thoughts? What did you feel when you watched that video? It's a joke. That's what you want to hear. It's a joke. Texas failed the students. Law enforcement failed the students. Our government failed the students. What else do you want me to say? 
the truth is out there. Everybody saw the truth. That grandfather went as far as calling the ongoing investigations a cover-up, saying that he plans to read this investigation, but really nothing's going to change his mind, adding that he believes he will never know the truth and will die, potentially not ever knowing all the details as to what happened inside Rob Elementary School. Now, we also spoke to the aunt of one of the victims. She got so emotional, saying that those officers in that hallway should be held accountable. I'm sure, I'm sure they're hurting, I'm sure, but they need to confront all these parents and say that they're sorry. Is it going to change the pain? Never, never. Give me a video after now, calls for police accountability have grown, and so far only one officer that we know of from the, that was here at the scene is known to be on leave. Now, according to the report, the void of leadership could have contributed to the loss of life as injured victims waited over an hour to get help, and the attacker continued to fire off rounds. It also concluded that it's plausible that some victims could have survived had they not had to wait 73 minutes before first responders were able to get there and transport them to hospitals. Now, this report has been publicly made available, and ever since that happened, the city of Uvalde is also taking action. They announced that they are putting the Uvalde Police Department acting chief on administrative leave as they review his response to this mass shooting and determine if he should should have taken a more commanding act while he was on the scene. Now, the report also found that the attacker's motive was a desire to be for notoriety, excuse me, or a desire for notoriety, excuse me, a desire for fame, basically, is what they're saying, is what it really boils down to. Now, also, the Uvalde Police Department has released that body camera video. We are working through all that video to continue to bring you all the latest details on that. I'm going to send it back to you, Lindsay. All right, Newsies Addie Guajardo live in Uvalde, Texas. Thanks for the report.